Uh, yeah, hi. Uh, I got an online order for 2256, I think. Your name number? I like chicken. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. It's the thing of mozzarella? Yeah. Yeah, sweet. Awesome. Yeah, hi. That's the one, that's one with the chicken for the bun, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, awesome. I, cool. I think so, at least. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> nah, yeah, well, it's on the secret menu, yeah. I guess, so. Cool. Well, good. Just down the corner, man. Thank you very much. Well, Cheers. We did it. Hello everyone, welcome to another installment of Food Sack. On today's episode, I'm back at KFC. You probably have heard of this already, but I'm looking at the mozzarella zinger burger. But I had a look at the secret menu. I accessed the secret menu and they have a brand new zinger mozzarella double. The zinger mozzarella double. Now this is so new that the staff at my local KFC didn't even know how to make this. It took them quite a while. I guess they were reading some chart, you know, that tells them how to make it. This is their first time making it. Sorry about the way, man. It's first All time good. Made. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's new today, isn't it? Is that off the um, secret menu? Yeah. yeah. I, I saw it. I had no clue what it was. Yeah. I won't lie. Cool. Well, I hope it's uh, all good. I could possibly be the first person in Australia to have the Zinger Mozzarella Double. Now, what is the Zinger Mozzarella Double? Let's open it up and I'll walk you through it. Look at that, no bun. There is no bun on the Zinger Mozzarella Double. So, as you can see, it is whoa, two Zinger patties and fried cheese in the middle. Has some mayonnaise and some sauce on it as well and a rasher of bacon. So, pretty exciting. Not the most auspicious start to my healthy eating regime, but we'll see how it goes. Oh, geez, how do you even? Wow. Mmm. That sauce is pretty good. I don't think it's tomato sauce. I'm not sure what sauce it is, but it's quite good. It was like supercharged sauce or something. As far as burgers goes, it's pretty dumb, but it's tasty. Now, the new thing here is the mozzarella, the grilled mozzarella patty. Now, McDonald's was doing pretty much the exact same thing a few months ago. I reviewed that. And, uh, you know, part of the advertising is the stretch, which I'm not getting a lot of. Mm. But the KFC mozzarella patty is superior to the McDonald's one, definitely. Well, maybe it's because the... Uh, the double chicken breasts here are like keeping the mozzarella really hot. In fact, this is a very hot burger. Yeah, you're just holding hot oil. You really do need the paper. Maybe I should have some special serving uh, kit to serve this in. This is fairly spicy as well. If you like spice, then you're in luck. It's not as messy as you would imagine. I do feel slightly ashamed eating this. You know, this is not the first uh, burger where they've used chicken breasts for the bun. And, um, you know, a lot of people think that's really disgusting, but, you know, when you think about it, like if this was sandwiched between two bits of burger bun, no one would care. But it's just because it's quite bizarre to have a burger with no bread that <clears throat> people get a bit disgusted mm. but this is actually pretty good the bacon and the chicken and the mayonnaise I mean it's always a winning combination and the cheese is um I, don't know, I mean you can't really taste the cheese that much I don't think the cheese adds a lot um, I didn't get a bag for this you don't have a bag or anything that's nah, all good. So I've got no napkins as well. Trust me, you will need napkins to eat this. This is really well made. This is good. This is actually really good. <clears throat> There's like a certain sweetness to the sauce, but a creaminess to the mayonnaise. It's all about contrasts. This this is contrasted well. The chicken flavor and the spices there contrasted with the bacony flavor. It's really good.
You know, a lot of places you can get the uh, the uh, the keto option and get lettuce leaves instead of a bun. I think more places should offer chicken breasts instead of a bun. You know, the gluten-free option. I don't think there's gluten in this. Maybe my uh, <clears throat> celiac viewers can let me know. Mmm. Nice bit of cheese there. Eh? Mmm. This fried mozzarella is well and truly superior to McDonald's. Much better. And yeah, the sauce is, is really nice. This supercharged sauce or whatever it is. I'm not sure what it's called. Wow. That was salty and spicy, a bit creamy as well. Nice crunch from the chicken fillet and the grilled cheese was nice and soft with the gooey inside, soft gooey inside, crunchy outside. That was, um, that was pretty impressive. Now that was $11 something, which is surprisingly expensive, but I guess you do get two chicken fillets, which, you know, fills it up. I'm definitely full after that. I probably should not eat for quite a few hours after that, but, um, yeah, good effort KFC. I'll have to check it out, the uh, the Zinger mozzarella burger, the regular one, but the one without the bun, with just the two bits of chicken fillet, was quite good. So many thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know if you are getting yourself a Zinger mozzarella double only on the secret menu. Check it out. Cheers. A regular button, some slices of bread, perhaps two pieces of chicken instead. I'll get a bun made out of meat in our old familiar place, staring at the colonel's face. Mmm, -hmm. chicken for bread. Does that sound all right? It all depends upon your appetite. I'll eat it any time I want in the Colonel's restaurant. <laughs>